Let's be honest, a majority of the background characters in Warriors are forgettable. In fact, really quick, I'll put a few names on the screen, and I want you to guess which one of these background characters is fake. Well, if you guessed any of these cats, you're wrong. Sorry to trick you. But I can't blame you, because there are so many background characters, it's impossible to keep up with them. Even the writers themselves have forgotten about many of the cats. We have situations like what happened with Heavy Step, a cat who is so forgettable that the errands wrote their death twice. Or we have cats like Toadskip or Nettlespot, who have simply vanished from the books altogether. With the allegiances growing by the book, and of course the many different writers, background characters are, well, fading into the background. For most other book series, this really wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> and I know I might be sounding like an arc winner here, but the first few arcs had set a precedent. Background characters appeared more often and had more of a charm to them. Cats like Barry Nose and Mouse Fur were both background characters, but still had a personality and a backstory, making them feel more realistic and lovable to fans. As the books went on, you got to see the characters grow. You would watch a cat's journey from kithood to warrior. However, as the clans got larger, cats began to become nothing more than an extra name filling the allegiances. Looking at the newest book, ThunderClan alone has 44 cats. For reference, ThunderClan and Into the Wild has 25 cats, including the few that die at the beginning. Sorry for the spoilers. I don't even know how the territories can fit so many kitties. Not only have these large groups of cats become an ongoing joke within the fandom, but they've sparked a movement. A Tumblr user under the name of Cat Soap Opera, also known as Bug Meats, posted on January 20th, 2022, a thought asking if it would be possible to convince the fandom to believe in a character who didn't actually exist. Because, as we know, Warriors fans don't read the books. A few other users replied jokingly they could even convince the writers that a whole new character existed, just by posting about them. People thought this was an interesting point and decided to try and gaslight, in a way, the errands into believing the character's existence. The original poster got to work immediately, grabbing some common prefixes and suffixes and putting them into a wheel. Cloud and Snap were both chosen, so Cloud Snap ended up being the name granted by StarClan. You can't have a name without a face though, and a simple design as well as a clan was given to this unofficial background character. Cloud Snap, a small river clan warrior with striking amber eyes, smooth, silky white fur, and a dark muzzle captured the hearts of Tumblr users, as posts started to flood the warrior's side of Tumblr. However, a name and design wasn't enough as users wanted to create more about this character to make them seem like a legitimate background character. The wheel was spun again, and an actual background character from the books was chosen as one of Cloud Snap's shipping partners. Cloud Snap was also given a basic personality at the request of some users. The original poster used all the information to create a frame for Cloud Snap and allowed anyone to add whatever they liked to the character. Now that the basic information about Cloud Snap was established, people started to run wild. Since the project is open source, users came together to create a backstory for Cloud Snap to make them seem more relatable and similar to a real character you would see written in the books. People even started to go as far as post discourse and errors in the books involving Cloud Snap, which I think is super funny. Anyways, Cloud Snap's story goes like this. Cloud Snap was born alongside their siblings, Reed Kit and Swan Kit, sometime between the New Prophecy and the Power of Three arc. However, Cloud Kit was the only one fortunate enough to live past Kithood. Swan Kit's neck was broken after getting caught in a trap, presumably from venturing out of camp with their siblings. Reed Kit helped Cloud Kit cope with her sibling's death, but unfortunately passed just before becoming an apprentice, this time with Green Cough. Or so the rumor goes. Just as a side note, one main area of debate is Cloud Kit's siblings, as some sources say that the Aarons forgot about the pair of siblings, so they simply faded away and that the two siblings' death is actually a popular theory that originated from a fanfiction. Regardless, most people still list the siblings' death as canon, as it plays a huge part in the Cloud Snap's story. The death of now Cloudpaw's siblings seemed to turn the warrior's heart black, especially after a Misty Star thoroughly gave the apprentice the warrior named Cloud Snap, a constant reminder of the warrior's siblings' unseemly death. Cloud Snap turned to the Dark Forest and became one of their trainees which is where Cloud Snap stood out, and many fans began to notice the background character. Cloud Snap's disdain for Misty Star really struck a chord with many of the readers, 
and allow Cloudsnap's personality to shine more in the Dark Forest. Of course, the character's connection with Ivy Pool also helped boost the character's popularity. People began to ship the two characters, once again only boosting Cloudsnap's popularity. However, as with most background characters and warriors, Cloudsnap eventually met their death off-screen and without another word. Now that we have the full backstory of Cloudsnap, where's the problem? Well, as Cloudsnap's popularity grew, many who didn't know the origins of the character became confused by Cloudsnap and their rising popularity. While for the most part, the misinformation didn't affect many people, and actually helped inspire others to create art or headcanons with the character, others saw an issue with the project. The project, which had merely started as a joke, became more popular than anticipated, and with popularity comes a price. Users started to complain about the project, even going as far as to attack those who participated in the multi-misinformation project. A common misconception was that Cloudsnap was created to poke fun at people. In reality, it was all just a joke and never really meant to hurt anyone. Many users were angry with how people were treating Cloudsnap as a real character, without giving information as if it was real or not. One common argument was that Cloudsnap's existence could potentially cause harm to those with psychosis or memory issues. Cloudsnap's creator, Bugmeats, was very proactive with this issue, and early on within Cloudsnap's creation asked people to tag their posts, as they would be doing so as well. The tags of Unreality, Cloudsnap, and MMP were all common tags used for Cloudsnap posts. However, it wasn't always enough. The tags were just the tip of the iceberg when it came to controversies surrounding Cloudsnap. I'm not a Tumblr user by any means, but from what I understand, the main purpose of tags is to be a filter and to add any extra information to posts the original poster might not have added in the main post. As well as being used for the search bar in Tumblr, it's also the postscript memo at the end of each post. Or I guess to better match with what my audience might know, it would be the author's note. Now many users were angry that people weren't tagging posts, leaving many to become confused as to who Cloudsnap was. Cloudsnap's creator, Bugmeats, was the main target for a lot of this hate. The hate was unjustified, as early into Cloudsnap's existence, they had tagged their own posts as well as asked people to tag their posts involving Cloudsnap. Yet people would hold them responsible for others not tagging their own posts. Even when asked who Cloudsnap was, Bugmeats would explain how Cloudsnap was a fake character and still reminded people to tag their posts accordingly. As with many things in the Warriors fandom, this one small issue snowballed into a larger controversy, and arguments quickly turned from tags to the morality of Cloudsnap's existence. Arguments as if it was the poster's responsibility to inform others of the legitimacy of Cloudsnap started to arise, as well as the actual harm, if any, behind these posts. Posters should always assume responsibility for what they post online. However, this is the internet. You should never take anything at face value, and it's your responsibility to fact check information you find. Even if information regarding a subject is hard to find, there are still many resources available to help you decide if something is true or not. Cloudsnap hardly broke outside of Tumblr, and there are still many posts talking about how this was a fake character within Tumblr itself. Even if you just use the Warriors Wiki, you could have easily gotten an answer as to if this character was fake or not. And if you're unwilling to search, or unable to come up with a conclusion, and seeing these posts was triggering, many users often suggested simply blocking the tag. You're always responsible for your own mental health, and if seeing posts regarding misinformation was causing you great harm, rather than attacking individuals for joining in on the joke, take matters into your own hands and choose not to engage with this type of content. Eventually, the drama died down, and soon Cloudsnap's relevance followed suit. With the last post mentioning Cloudsnap being in May of 2022, it's safe to say they've finally been put to rest. At the end of the day, the Cloudsnap project didn't make it very far. Though fan art, a playlist, and even a fanfiction was made with Cloudsnap in it, they hardly burst through the Tumblr bubble. But that doesn't mean the project was a failure, though, as Cloudsnap could have easily reached the eyes and ears of Aaron Hunter. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see them in a book. But I want your opinion. Do you think that Cloudsnap in any way was a harmful creation? Let me know in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching and have a good one.